Okay, this is going to be a quick video um, for the CMAZO uh, new feature that's been added to 2.10.3.5 and we're going to download this fresh database and everything so Brian uh, W4WMT added a new feature in uh, Thetis which bypasses the hardware codec in the radio hardware and passes all audio through um, an ASO device so we will install uh, Thetis, I just downloaded it from uh, Git over there so we'll get it installed and we'll use a fresh database and the whole reason behind the CM ASO Channel Master ASO uh, implementation is try to is uh, for it to try to minimize audio latency and to uh, free up the VAX uh, for other use such as digital modes and uh, that type of thing so uh, we'll just start up Thetis and uh, configure it uh, to use uh, the, the radio here so I wanted to show you a fresh install so we can uh, take it from the ground up so let's uh, just pick the 7000 set some slightly uh, quicker updating FFTs and that should all be okay and turn it on and we're fine and we've got no audio no vax in use and nothing's coming through to the, vid uh, the video recording software we'll make that a bit bigger so the first stage um, is to check out the manual so if we go in and this is Windows 11 open file location and we can see that there's this CM ASO uh, user guide and it's entirely uh, set up for in quotes power users there's no UI to configure this everything has to be done through the registry so what we'll do uh, first off we will load up the registry editor and we'll go to the relevant section HK local machine software HPSDR Thetis 64 which is here and that will appear once you've installed it and we need to create a key navigate to here which is where we are and we add a new string value with that azo drive ant name so we will do that new string value azo driver name and the way that I um, uh, decide which driver to use I start up Thetis we'll do it now let's just take that back out so it doesn't confuse matters start up Thetis And we will uh, get a list of the ASO drivers that Thetis knows about by going into Setup, um, Audio, ASO. We'll hit this drop down and we'll just do a screen capture of that and sit that, um, sit that over there on the edge. Uh, Brian has made a separate app I think, a little program utility which will give you the list and more info about your drivers. I don't know if he's linked that here um, or if he's linked it uh, in the thread. Um, so there's quite, let's just quickly go there, there's quite a big uh, thread happening in the virtual uh, audio section, this one it's already at five pages so there's a lot of info in there to be gleaned uh, but let's go through this, so we've taken a screenshot of what we've got here I want to use this X-Air ASO driver excuse me, so what I'll do, I'll take this ASO driver name from here and I'll add the string into the registry Double click it and then I can type that in over the X A ASO driver like so. 
So that's mimicking that there. And now, when um, Fetus starts up, it will attempt to use this. And you'll see uh, either a red or a green icon appear down the bottom right, and ideally we want uh, it to show green like that. And when we start it up, <coughs> um, we will start getting uh, audio into uh, the recording software, like so, and these sliders affect it, and the master AF does as well. So, um... Okay, so that's uh, receiver one, and incidentally, um, if we... Uh, if we set up receiver two... We can... Also here, receiver 2 at the same time, and receiver 1. So we've got both the receivers uh, piping through. Uh, CM Azo, Channel Master Azo. Um, so like I say, it takes the place of your hardware uh, codec in the radio. Uh, speakers and uh, microphone and things I don't think work if you're using this connected to the uh, hardware. And it, this takes the place of it and um, attempts to uh, reduce latency. So what I'm going to do now um, is get it working with a voice meter. So the way that that was working just now I've got an X I've got an X Air uh, XR18 which uh, can do uh, hardware mixing which is how I managed to get the uh, audio and everything into the recording of the of the video here um, but of course you could use um, voice meter potato to do the same sort of thing um, in this you have to make sure that if you go into settings here that you see buffer 64 here this has to be set to default um, uh, we found and this has to be set to in 32 L L LSB uh, at least significant bit so buffer 64 in 32 LSB and default there set your uh, output ASO device as normal and then what we will do, we'll go back into the registry. We will temporarily um, edit this key and put something in front of it just to uh, prevent Thetis from using it. Which will then uh, cause Thetis to um, not use CMAZO. There will be no icon down here so we can get a list. So as soon as you use the device, I should say, um, uh, mention, if CS Azo is using the device, you can't use it uh, for VAC. It will literally disappear from here. So we're going to use that one uh, for this uh, voice meter potato test. So shut all Thetis down again. Change this back, get rid of those A's. Double click this so we can change this to uh, voice M-E-E-T-E-R Virtual Azo And then we can double check that voice meter Virtual Azo which matches that one over there We can cross this and we're happy with that Start up Thetis again And as long as it's working, it will be green. If there's a problem, it'll turn red. And if we start this, and we give it some AF, you can see straight away that we're getting uh, stuff into 
um, into a voice meter potato so you can do all your routing and whatnot if you're used to using that so uh, yeah that's the uh, that's the way uh, to set it up there are some other options um, if you look at the documentation which we can get to here there are some other options um, there's one called block uh, size a uh, block a a so block num so that would be the other key that you could enter into the registry so we can control C that if we wanted to go into the registry editor and this has to be a, dub, a D word so we'll create one of those call it block num and set it to some value um, and you could play with this to uh, see how it affects your system start off at 5 or 6 and, uh, and work down until you have problems or glitches and then there's um, uh, some other options as well which you can do with Blocknum where you set the higher order uh, bits to uh, non-zero and it will go into this locking mode and, and all sorts it's all, all documented there so and more info on the forums as well okay so that's a, a quick little video on uh, how to set up uh, Brian's new uh, CMAZO stuff freeing up the use of um, VAC so, uh, so you can use them for something else reducing the latency and I hasten to add it only works with protocol 2 okay cheers <laughs>